A Pike County man sentenced to 20 years in prison for a crash that killed a Pike County Sheriff's deputy went before the parole board today in Frankfurt. A massive raid in Paris, France today targeting the suspected ringleader of last week's deadly attacks. Now at four, what investigators are saying about whether the suspect survived the raid. Right on cue, heavy rain and gusty wind blasting central and eastern Kentucky. We'll take a look at that, show you when it ends and what may replace it for the weekend. This is WKYT News at 4. Good afternoon. I'm Jennifer Palumbo. It is a very wet and windy afternoon as heavy rain is moving through the bluegrass. Here's a live look at downtown Lexington from a sky cam at the Herald Leader, where you can see it is raining right now. Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is tracking the rain on the first alert defender. Chris? Yeah, everybody getting in on heavy rain this afternoon across central Kentucky, where this rain band comes through. It's going to drop a quick inch to inch and a half, even some local two inch amounts into much of the area. And that's going to continue now to progress into parts of eastern Kentucky. You're showing the downtown look. Well, here's Hamburg Pavilion right now, where I noticed just yesterday they put up the Christmas tree there. And with those gusty winds today, I would imagine that tree's probably uh, kind of swaying a little bit. Heavy rain right now, Lexington. Winds are coming in, sustained around 18. Those gusts in Lexington have been 30. It had a 50 mile per hour gust coming out of southeastern Kentucky. A couple of those a little earlier this afternoon. Look at that wall of water working out beautifully compared to what we have talked about for the past week with this storm. And the heaviest rains are now from Middlesbrough through Barberville, Corbin, London, Manchester. That extends northward across the I-75 corridor and working eastward across the Lexington Metro. Rains aren't as heavy as what we had about an hour or so ago. Downtown Lexington, I would imagine when we check in with Officer Don here in a little bit, traffic probably going to be a little messy because of all the wet roads. Eastbound on 64, heavy rain now blasting the Moorhead area that extends into southeastern Kentucky. Watch the future radar showing some additional bands of rain developing this evening, but by midnight, a lot of the stuff beginning to taper off, and that will carry us into the early part of tomorrow. We're going from wet and windy to some winter weather. Jennifer, for the weekend, a new hour by hour is in to track it all just ahead. We'll see you in 15 minutes, Chris. French police sources say a raid on an apartment in Paris came right on time because they say suspects were about to move on some kind of operation. Instead, eight people were detained, two suspected terrorists killed, and authorities are working to see if the dead include the suspected ringleader of Friday's terrorist attacks. Diane Gallagher has the latest from Paris in our top story at four. In France, a country president, Francois Hollande, says is forced into battle with ISIS. Que nous sommes dans la guerre. That we are at war. Wednesday was a day to go on the offensive. Belgian and French police, along with security agencies, picked up on a telephone wiretap, leading them into an apartment in Saint-Denis, a northern Paris suburb not far from where the deadly stadium attack happened Friday. That wiretap suggested a relative of Abdelhamid Abaoud, the suspected Belgian ISIS ringleader on Friday's attacks, could be in the apartment. Now outside the building, a clear buildup. Heavily armed officers coming in by the truckload for an hours long operation. Inside, a woman in another apartment hid with her baby. They said to stay laid down on the floor, don't move, and turn off all lights. And that's what I did, and I hid. She says gunfire and explosions shook the building until officials announced the raid was over. A police operation that was particularly dangerous and heavy has just ended. Two people died, including a woman by explosives. Now officials say they will use DNA analysis to determine who was killed. Belgian state broadcaster RTBF reports that a woman who blew herself up in the operation is a cousin of Abaoud. CNN cannot confirm that reporting. President Hollande says that he will ask to extend France's state of emergency for three more months, giving authorities more powers in conducting searches and detentions. In Paris, I'm Diane Gallagher reporting. French authorities say four officers were injured and a police dog killed during the shootout. Back in Kentucky, a man who admitted to causing the death of a Pike County Sheriff's deputy made his case to the state parole board today. David Wayne Childers was intoxicated when he crashed his vehicle into Deputy James Thacker's cruiser head-on three years ago. Childers pleaded guilty to manslaughter and was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Hillary Thornton is in Frankfurt with the parole board's decision. David Childers admits to causing the death of Pike County Sheriff's Deputy James Thacker back in 2012.
today. It did not take long for the state parole board to decide if they felt he has served enough of his 20 year sentence. Through a video conference while sitting in North Point Training Center in Boyle County, Childers explained why he is serving time for second degree manslaughter. I had to use slow pen, and I'm able to send my system, and I had to use a prescription drug. Driving under the influence, slamming into Deputy James Thacker's cruiser, killing Thacker. Parole board members commended Childers, who has a biology degree, for continuing his education while in jail and also entering a substance abuse program. As your addiction and your reckless behavior cost someone their lives. So I'm very glad to see that you are trying to address that during your incarceration. Ultimately deciding to deny Childers parole at this time, citing the severity of charges, Good past afternoon. felony and misdemeanor convictions, as well as multiple disciplinary issues he has had while in jail. It is a decision Childers himself agreed with, a decision Thacker's widow was relieved to hear. James's life was worth more than just a few years in jail. Childers will be eligible for another parole hearing in two years. In Frankfurt, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. Thacker's widow got more than 1,000 signatures on a petition asking for Childers parole to be denied. A tragedy in western Kentucky where a fire killed two adults and two children. And state police say it was no accident. It happened last night at a home on 121 South in Callaway County, just outside Murray. Investigators say someone deliberately set the house on fire, killing a man, a woman, a five year old boy, and a one year old girl. So far, no arrests have been made. We're working on a number of other stories for WKYT starting at 4.30. Sam Dick joins us from the newsroom with a look at some of the news in progress. Good afternoon, Sam. Good afternoon, Jennifer. A mother and son charged in connection to a murder were back in court earlier today. Police say that Adrian Collins shot and killed Ronnie Kelly in Madison County earlier this month. His mother, Melissa, is accused of trying to hide the gun. During the preliminary hearing, a Richmond detective testified that Melissa Collins called 911 after the shooting happened in her apartment, but they said she waited over an hour to call. Melissa Collins told officers she moved the gun to get it away from her son. She uh, removed the gun because her son Adrian had um, threatened suicide. The victim's sister says that she and his three stepchildren are dealing with a lot of pain. They say they want to see the Collins sentenced to life in prison. The case will now be heard by a grand jury. We'll have more on it ahead at 4.30. A pizza delivery driver who donated his time to help a fallen police officer's family becomes the victim of a robbery. Richmond police say three teenagers assaulted the man as he delivered Papa John's pizzas to Pine Street. We're told they stole his pizzas and a small amount of cash. Papa John's was donating all the money they made yesterday to the family of Officer Daniel Ellis. He was shot and killed earlier this month. We have a business trying to, and the individual that's come in here to help, you know, uh, and then this happens. It's, it's pretty disgusting, really. <laughs> the driver was a volunteer firefighter from Frankfurt. Police plan to offer a reward for arrests in this case. A crash two months ago nearly killed a Bath County teenager. Now he's doing much better and he's coming home today. 16 year old Aaron Williams was escorted into Mount Sterling a little over an hour ago and driven to the Montgomery County High School. Williams was injured after his car ran off the road and burst into flames. He spent the last couple of months at Cardinal Hill Rehabilitation Hospital in Lexington. We'll have an update on his recovery ahead on WKYT News at 5 o'clock. That's a look at some of the news in progress. Jennifer, back to you. Thank you, Sam. The good news just keeps coming for Coach John Calipari and the Big Blue Nation. Last night, Kentucky beat Duke, and this morning, five-star guard Malik Monk announced he'll play for UK next season. The Arkansas native had originally said he'd stay home and play for the Razorbacks. This gives Coach Cal the top recruiting class in the country. Rob Romley will have more on Malik Monk's decision on WKYT News at 5. Well, what do fishing, tackle, bait, and boats have to do with a ladies' night out? It's all coming together for one Lexington business. Yeah, they could do it in their front yard right now yeah. with the wet, uh, wet weather. Deanne Stevens out and about today, joining us from Backwater Outfitters to explain. Hi, Deanne. Hey, good afternoon, guys. We are here at Backwater Outfitters where we're fishing for a little 
fun. Kenny, our photographer, said, please give her a kid's poll so she can't reach me all the way over there with us. John Myers is here. And there's so many uh, fun toys. I'm just going to call them toys because I want one of everything in cool. here, John. Cool. Okay, super. We'll <laughs> fix you right up. We'll put you out there with us. You need somebody with a pocketbook, though, don't you? You need somebody with a big pocketbook. You guys offer a lot of different activities. And a lot of people, when they come by here, they probably think it's all about the men, but not necessarily. Women enjoy these activities, too. That's true. That's true. I mean, we always like to get the ladies involved. You know, we're, uh, we're the type of store that has, uh, uh, we're involved in every type of fishing event, uh, tournaments, uh, just pleasure fishing, whatever. So we really like to get the ladies involved. Well, women like to fish. Women like to kayak. Women like to boat. Right. A little bit of everything in here for us. Right. Well, my wife fishes more than I do. She fishes three or four days a week. So well, that's because you're in here working, right? Sob story. Somebody's got to supply her with what to fish <laughs> with. So, yes. Right, right. Exactly. Uh, okay. And not only do you all have all of the different, the bait, the tackle, everything you need for fishing, but when it comes to women, you're doing something very special here tomorrow night, aren't you? We are. We are. Uh, tell you, this goes back several years, and I won't uh, elaborate on it. But um, in a previous job, one of my staff members brought to me a product called Captain Rodney's. It was a cheese dip. From that point, it's just been crazy. This is a product that you just cannot imagine how good it is. So when we bought the store and came over here, I talked to the company and we put it in. Just We just dabbled in it, but it's grown and grown and grown. But with the holidays coming up, there's so many parties. You're looking at, you're looking at uh, tailgating. You're looking at Christmas, Thanksgiving. There's so much going on that we wanted to share it. And we want the ladies to come in and be a part of it with us. Well, because most women, like me, probably think you have to go to a little specialty store. Because normally, that's where I go to get that Captain Rodney's. And nine times out of ten, they're out of it. That's true. That's true. Captain Rodney's is not found in but about three or four places in the whole entire state. So we decided, let's just let's fix that problem. So we did it. And we've got all of Captain Rodney's products right here. Okay, so the cool part for you, ladies, and I guess we can invite them in if they insist sure. on being a part of it, is there's a special event happening right here tomorrow night with Captain Rodney. Captain Rodney is going to be here in Lexington at Backwater Outfitters. Now, they are located right across from Sam's on New Circle Road, 6 to 9 o'clock. We're going to tell you more about his visit here tomorrow night, the special open house, and you can come enjoy some of the fabulous new dips he has out. So it's all about the women. You're scared I'm going to hit you with this, aren't you? <laughs> he keeps moving this way. I'm sorry. We'll keep it this way. It is all about the women here at Backwater Outfitters. We'll tell you more when we return here on WKYT. You better back up. Back up there. <laughs> back to you.